Hey guys, what's up? So welcome back to episode 21 of Let's Make a Mod and this time we're not going to be focusing on audio mod quite yet because I'm having some issues with that. So instead of me actually dealing with all the issues and waiting for a solution, I'm going to go ahead and skip the uh, audio mod part and just skip to the next tutorial that I had in line. So uh, we're going to be focusing on an audio mod later on down the road, but I'm for sure going to get it done. So uh, don't even worry about it. I just want to make sure that everyone is informed that we are continuing on with our series and we got to like complete a lot of cool things before we uh, head off doing other stuff so anyways we're gonna be now gonna be focusing on enchantments how to give your items enchantments or uh, you know how in the John mod if you hold a mortals blade uh, it has an enchantment or even the immortality gem has an enchantment we're gonna do that in this tutorial so I'm gonna show you guys how to give your items enchantments it's one little line of code actually I think it's like three it's so simple to understand so if you guys haven't already updated your minecraft to uh, minecraft 1.4.5 via M MCP well then be sure to check out episode 20 because we have recently updated our mods for minecraft 1.3.2 to minecraft uh, 1.4.4 I believe I forgot the tutorial but uh be sure to check out the tutorial to update your mod is actually the same exact steps you just need the latest MCP which will be provided in my forums just be sure to go and check out episode one I have all the download links right there so uh, you're gonna get MCP version 7.23 and you're gonna get the latest mod loader and uh, you guys should all be familiar on how to update your mods, how to get your codes, how to change your source. All that stuff is very simple. Uh, I have many tutorials. I have health forums, guys. My health forums has been uh, getting a huge upgrade. And uh, I'm I'm going to just talk about my health forums right now. So if you guys want to skip this part, go ahead and click on the annotation above because uh, it's not really that... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how to say it. But anyways... Uh, you don't have to know that much about the help forums, but anyways, if you go to my help forums, no need to look up here because this is like a administrative stuff. Anyways, in my help forums, now if you help out people, uh, I'm going to have myself a reward system going on. I pretty much, I'm going to talk about it right now. So in the reward system, by helping each other out, by posting a comment, by posting a topic, even if you need help, if you post a comment, topic, any of that stuff, people try to help you out. Look at this, mud bill, all that stuff. And uh, everything is going by pork chops so you could earn pork chops for helping out and you could see who's the king of the wolves so you could see who's been helping out the most if if we click right there you'll see that um mudbill has about 30 pork chops in total leading by me obviously i've been helping out a lot but uh, with all these pork chops if you get yourself a lot of pork chops by helping out around the form then you're gonna get yourself special rewards and these rewards could Go, come from anywhere it could be a uh, steam games it could be a premium minecraft account it could be a lot of cool things just for making my life easier by helping out each other and also i have myself a special chat going on right here so uh I'm, i believe it's only up to 25 people at the moment i'm working on upgrading it but uh, you could see people online and you could talk to them and whatnot and here's a general chat where everyone's just saying hey what's up i see moans and all that stuff so uh yeah you could talk to each other right here and uh, that's pretty much the rewards you just pretty much post a comment and you'll say you have earned yourself a pork chop and uh, you you just keep on earning more and more pork chops all these people have pork chops so uh, yeah that's the cool thing about my health forums go there if you really want to anyways all of my source codes and all that stuff will be located um, in my minecraft forum that you guys have been helping me out uh, by giving it a lot of reputation thank you guys for all that stuff so how about we start uh, getting into this actual tutorial we're gonna be giving our items an enchantment so we're gonna open up your eclipse and I'm in minecraft 1.4.5 I've already updated my mod and if you guys haven't already did that you guys have to do that on your own it's very simple just look at episode 20 and just do the same exact thing so uh, anyways in this tutorial it's for items we're gonna be giving an enchantment for items not we're not gonna give it for blocks obviously you can't give yourself a special enchantment for a block but uh we're gonna give it to a item so you can't do it to a sword quite yet or a pickaxe but I'm gonna be showing you guys probably in the next episode I'm not sure when I'm gonna show you guys how to make yourself your own special class just for your sword alone where you could give it anything you want it's really really cool um, I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own enum material for your sword I believe that's how you're supposed to say it but uh, right now let's go ahead and do this for my item green gem so uh, for my item green gem I could do it for my other item green gem my shiny gem I could do it as well for that or my food I'm gonna do it for my food as well so let's do it to both so uh, right now actually I don't know I can't do it to my food because it extends item food I can't really edit a base class so let's not do it to a food let's do it to a real item right here item green gem so you're gonna locate your item green gem dot java and it all it is is just one little uh 
public class whatever so anyways let me go ahead and just type it out because it's not that much i'm not going to copy and paste so it's just public you could type it out as well or you could just go to my help forums and actually get the code yourself so public boolean and we're gonna have we're gonna put has and we're gonna capital that that e so has effect there we go and i believe that's how you do it I, I oh man i really spelled that wrong i'm not looking at my monitor because uh i'm trying to look at my notes and whatnot because i have i have notes everywhere guys so has effect and inside these parentheses, you're going to put item stack, item stack, and you're going to press space and you're going to do par one item stack again, item stack. And uh, right here, you're going to do some squiggly brackets, bam, bam, right there, squiggly brackets. And uh, let's see if, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. We have to return this. So we're going to put re return right there. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry about that. Return. And you're going to put true. So that's that's it. That's pretty much it. And I believe that's it. So um, you could put return false if you don't want it to have a special uh, enchantment effect. But this code right here, you could either type it out yourself or you could actually just go to my forums and just copy and paste it. It will be in section 21. And once you have done that, then we should have ourselves an enchantment. Let's go ahead and press play and it should be able to work. I'm going to go into Minecraft, go to single player, go into world, any world that I like. And here is my green gem. And look at it. It's shiny. That's it. That is it. You can see that it has itself a enchantment going on. It doesn't have anything special where it actually gives your player a special potion effect or any of that stuff. We're going to be looking into advanced tutorials very soon with Minecraft Forge. I'm going to be showing you guys uh, some Minecraft Forge tutorials very soon. But uh, that's the only line of code that you actually need. I'm not sure if I could do this with any other items. Uh, it's best not to actually... Uh, what is it called? It's best not to edit a base class. So I'm not going to be editing a base class just to give myself a uh, enchantment item sword. I'm going to be showing you guys different steps later on. And then we're going to be making those enchantment as well. The only item that I could actually just give in a, uh, a special enchantment is the actual item that I created, which is the item green gem, which is a class right here. And this is the line of code, guys. So that's it. That's pretty much it about the enchantment tutorial so hopefully you guys enjoy this series be sure to leave a rating if you are following this tutorial and if you guys really like this tutorial be sure to support it as much as you can and that is pretty much it i'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys later thank you guys for all of your support see you next time